Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Nintendo DS, Xbox 360, Atari, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Xbox 360 emulation on the Xbox Series X and S with Xenia. Xenia for UWP, which stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Universal Windows Platform, has just released with version 1.0.0. Now, if you think you've heard about this one before, it's because you have. We talked about it just a few days ago, but they're already out with a brand new improvement, and a really big improvement. Significantly more games now work, thanks to Canary and the new defaults. Thanks to Rookie, and it is playable for all of their hard work on that. Xenia on UWP now runs significantly faster thanks to Canary's improvements. In-game OS UI now works, fixing a lot of games like Sonic 4. So if you've got an Xbox Series X or S and wanted to try your hand at Xbox 360 emulation on it, Xenia for UWP is 100% free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Next up, we're talking about Windows emulation on Android with Exagear, and there's a brand new version of Exagear that was kind of just released and it does improve game compatibility by quite a bit. It appears there's a whole bunch of games running pretty well with version 3.5.1. If you wanted to check this one out, I'll drop a link to this YouTube video in the description below and feel free to check it out. And speaking about brand new games running well, next up we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. And Skyline got a number of different updates today. If you head to skyline emuone and click on download, you'll see version 1844 has just released. And on top of that, the paid testing early access version of Skyline, Skyline Edge, just got a brand new release, version 31. It fixes text in games like Crisis. It also allows Portal 1 and Portal 2 to go in game. And it should allow Dark Souls and Monster Hunter to progress even further. Here's Blaze Blue Central Fiction up and running at a solid 60 frames per second and looking pretty good. Some more fighting games, Melty Blood and Undernight Rebirth, are also up and running and looking good. Someone has risen up and running between 30 and 50 frames per second. And Easy on the Eyes has some Portal 1 and Portal 2 gameplay at over 100 frames per second and arguably looking alright. But moving on and we're still talking about switch emulation but switching over to pc with yuzu and yuzu got a brand new update so in mainline 1332 which just dropped adds a volume quick setting on the status bar the user can now change the volume quickly by the quick volume section on the status bar making things simple and straightforward and moving on to ryujinx the other switch emulator on pc and that one also got some updates version 1.1.603 fixes more cases of amd gp use crashing on higher resolutions in Fire Emblem and Gage. AMD GPU fixes have been plentiful lately, and I think a lot of people are happy about it. Next up, we're still talking about Nintendo, but this time about a pretty big leak. The Nintendo Dev Portal documents and tools and code have surfaced online. The leak overall is about 50 gigs in total. It contains source code related to tools by Nintendo that are used in many Nintendo Switch games and a whole lot more. It's very interesting. Next up, we're talking about Castlevania Portrait of Ruin on the Nintendo DS. Apparently a lot of you like Fat Rosie, and if you like cats and you wanted to play a video game as a cat that's not stray, well, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin has kind of been hacked up here to play as a cat. So version 1.0.2 of this ROM hack has just released. You can play as Maria or Biako, I think that's how you say the name, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. The cat has new custom claw attack weapons and a whole lot more. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to the ROM hack in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Moving on and we're talking about the Switch again, and this time about a pretty impressive milestone. Apparently the Nintendo Switch has officially outsold the PS4 for lifetime sales. The Switch is currently sitting at 122.55 million units sold. The PS4 is 117.2 million units sold. And this gap is only going to increase with time. And speaking about units sold, this one is pretty wild. We're talking about the Atari XP 50th Anniversary Limited Edition Set of 10 Collection. It is completely sold out, which is very surprising to me considering it's priced at $1,000. 
This is a collection of 10 different games that have been reprinted and are compatible with the actual Atari. Now, to be honest with you, when I first saw this price, I thought they screwed up the listing. $1,000 seems to be a little bit high here. And I was even more surprised when it was actually sold out. So I'm not too sure who bought these. If you bought one of these packages, let me know in the comments below. There's 10 games overall, which translates to basically 100 bucks a game. I don't know how Yars Revenge is worth $100 here, especially a reprint of the game. And I didn't even see one of the best games of all time, E.T., in this list, which is a little disappointing. But moving on, and I can tell you what's not disappointing, RetroArch on the Leapster GS. ETA Prime is going to be having a video on this one pretty soon because they actually have a Leapster GS. If you're curious about this one, the operating system is called RetroLeap. It's currently compatible with the Leapster GS and LeapPad 2. It's free, it's open source, it's on GitHub, and I'll drop a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And speaking about free and open source, last up here we're talking about Transmission, a fast, easy, and free BitTorrent client, and Transmission version 4.0.0 just released. In my opinion, this is a pretty big release. There's a bunch of bug fixes, improvements, and brand new features. They migrated the code from C to C++. It's more efficient, it uses less memory and fewer CPU cycles. It's compatible with BitTorrent version 2 and also hybrid torrents. I am a big fan of Transmission, and if you're curious about this one, I'll drop a link to it in the description below, so feel free to check it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a ton today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.